Good evening. With six days till Election Day, the leading candidates for state superintendent of education are making a final pitch to South Carolina voters. They talked about school safety, mental health, and what they would do to improve education in the state. Our Jason Raven recaps tonight's debate. Your child's education, front and center on the debate stage Wednesday night. Candidates, Democrat Lisa Ellis and Republican Ellen Weaver vying for your vote. Both hoping to take the reins at the State Department of Education. What I have seen through my 22 year um, experience in the classroom is the fact that what's happening at the policy level is not helping students and teachers. Talking about the problems is not the same thing as solving them. You have to actually be able to work with the General Assembly, with the governor, with superintendents and parents and educators around the state in order to actually get anything done. Weaver and Ellis agree. They believe teacher pay needs to increase and agree working conditions need to be addressed. There, there are old programs that were passed 30, 40, 50 years ago that maybe were a good idea at the time, but are just no longer relevant relevant to our educational system of the 21st century. There are things that as superintendent of education I can do and to relieve some of those hoops that teachers have to jump through um, by looking at, you know, what is in the best interest of students. When it comes to mental health and school safety, the candidates say the issues go hand in hand. Now, Weaver is a proponent of education savings accounts, legislation to create this voucher like programs stalled earlier this year. I want children to be in the environment where they can learn best. And too often, many families face income limitations because of their zip code and um, just because of their family circumstances. Ellis says she is against the use of public money to help cover things like private school tuition. When we talk about vouchers and tax credits, the concern that I continue to have is that there's a, a lack of transparency and accountability. Now the candidates disagreed on whether school board races should be partisan and they also clashed on whether CRT is being taught and what roles parents play and what materials are in your child's school library. The students and teachers know that students learn best when they see themselves reflected in the classroom. These are things that parents have the right to decide and a school should never be co come between a parent and a child in these critical decisions. Now, early voting runs through November 5th and election day is next Tuesday. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News. You can still watch the whole debate and our one-on-one -on -one interviews with both Ellis and Weaver with the link at WSPA.com.